Hi guys and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little Dolly Donut Shopkins cake. So let's get straight into it. I've got a 6 inch chocolate mud cake here which I've cut into two and I've also cut a hole out from the centre using a cookie cutter. Now I haven't levelled off the top of my cake because I need it to be actually nice and round but I do need to trim off some of the edges at the bottom of the cake so the bottom is also nice and round as well. Now I'm going to use some buttercream frosting to fill the centre and cover the cake. When covering the cake with the frosting it's important not to forget to add some frosting on the inside of the hole as well to prevent the cake from drying and also help the fondant stick to it a little bit later on. So once it's nice and smooth, I'll pop it to a side and start to roll out some yellowy orange coloured fondant. Since the frosting hasn't actually started to crust, I can simply put my fondant straight over the cake without needing to add any water. However, if your frosting has already started to crust, you can simply brush on a little bit of water and the fondant will stick nicely. Now I'm just going to smooth the fondant out and use my little fingers at the bottom of the cake to tuck the fondant in as far as I can. Now using the back of a knife I'm going to tuck the fondant in a little further as far as I possibly can and then trim off all of the excess. With the hole at the top I'm just going to keep gently pressing the fondant and stretching it gradually you can even use the end of a roller to gently press through the fondant and create the hole. Now I'm just going to add a little strip of fondant into the inside of the hole to make sure the entire cake is sealed. Now to create some wrinkles in the centre I'm going to run the back end of a paintbrush along the fondant and create a few creases. Now here I have some brown fondant that I've rolled out very thinly and all I need to do is cut some abstract shapes that look a little bit like dog patches and position them on the cake and once I'm happy with their position I can stick them down. To make the ears for Dolly Donut I'm taking some of the brown fondant and rolling it into a large teardrop shape and then flattening it out with the roller and just really using my fingers to mould it until I get a nice ear shape. And then when I stick it onto the sides of the cake I want to make sure that the bottom of the ears poke out a little bit. For the paws at the front of the cake it's just a matter of rolling two small oval shapes and making two indents for the claws using the back of a knife and sticking them into position. And lastly I'm just going to add a tiny little tail sticking out from the side of the cake. To create the eyes I'm using some black and white fondant with three different size cutters and then layering them on top of each other and sticking them into place on the bottom half of the cake. I've made a little snout with a white ball of fondant and added a tiny piece of black for the little nose. All Shopkins have three cute little eyelashes on each eye so I need to add those and then add some very fine tiny eyebrows. To help shape the mouth I'm going to press the round cutter into the fondant to create the two sides of the snout and use a tiny piece of red fondant to create a tongue. I need to add some tiny white centres to the eyes and because I don't have a cutter small enough, a straw will do the trick just perfectly. Now you can leave the cake as it is or you can add some shading to create a little bit more depth and contrast to the cake. So here I have some non-toxic chalk. Now guys it's the same as using some petal dust and I'm just going to add some pink blush for the cheeks and add some brown shading to the centre hole and edges of the cake. Now 
to finish off the details I'm going to paint in the blue sections of the eyes with some food colouring and add some black markings to highlight the mouth. A dolly donut looks pretty cute now but all Shopkins are cute tiny little shiny toys so after I give it a nice steam you can see that it starts to transform instantly into what looks like an actual plastic toy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me create Dolly Donut. These little Shopkins toys are so incredibly popular among little kids and I know they just love to see these toys made into adorable cakes which they can actually eat. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed my tutorial and feel free to connect with me on any of my social media to share your own cakes with me. I have lots of you who do share your cakes and I have to tell you it's wonderful to see all of your creations. Make sure you click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and be sure to check out my Shopkins playlist where I have plenty more Shopkins cakes. I hope you tune in next time and as always thanks for watching.